In this video, we're going to be looking at the reactions of metal carbonates with acids. Now, one of the most important things to remember when you're learning about this chemistry is the general equation for this reaction. Uh, if you get any metal carbonate and you react it with any acid, it's going to make a salt, water and carbon dioxide. And if you memorise this equation and learn how to apply it, it will allow you to successfully work out the word equations for all metal carbonate acid reactions without actually memorising the individual equations themselves. Uh, one thing I would like to point out while we've got this equation on the screen is you'll notice I ran out of space on this side to put the plus carbon dioxide and I've put it underneath here with the other products. Now a common mistake that pupils often make is they would then continue that on a new line underneath here. Now the reason why that's wrong is carbon dioxide is one of the products of this reaction and because it's a product of the reaction it should always be on the right hand side of the arrow. So let's look at one of the applications of this equation. So in this reaction we've got calcium carbonate which is the principal ingredient of limestone and we're going to react it with some hydrochloric acid. Now if we apply the general equation to that it's going to make a salt, water and carbon dioxide. In this case the salt is going to be calcium chloride. If you want to see the chemical equation for that, it's on the board uh, right now. I'm not going to talk about how I come to balance this equation. Uh, stuff like that will be covered in the video on balancing equations. If we look at another example, this time instead of calcium carbonate, we've got sodium carbonate. Once again, we've reacted it with hydrochloric acid. And you can see the salt this time that is formed is sodium chloride, which is ordinary table salt and once again it's always going to make water and carbon dioxide and there's the chemical equation for that reaction so how do we know which type of salt would be formed well to work that out you only have to really remember these three things okay if we're using hydrochloric acid okay which is hcl the salt that's formed will always be a chloride so in them first two examples okay we use hydrochloric acid and that's why the salt formed was sodium chloride. If we use sulfuric acid, okay, uh, which is H2SO4, you will always end up being uh, making a salt as a sulfate, okay. And if you use nitric acid, which has the formula HNO3, the salt that would form would be a nitrate salt. So let's look at the application of this. In this example. We've got some magnesium carbonate and we've reacted it with sulfuric acid. Now remember, you're always going to get water and carbon dioxide. Because we're using sulfuric acid, this time the salt that we make will be a sulfate. So we end up making magnesium sulfate, water and carbon dioxide. And if we look at the chemical equation for that, you can see there's the sulfate group in the sulfuric acid. And it ends up being uh, bonded to the magnesium to form magnesium sulfate in this case. The rest of the equations is the same as the others. Uh, if we look at another example, this time we've got sodium carbonate and we've reacted it with nitric acid. Uh, again, you're always going to make water and carbon dioxide, but the salt that will be formed this time will be a nitrate, okay? So we end up with sodium nitrate, water and carbon dioxide. And if you look at the chemical equation, you can see the nitrate group of the nitric acid is there and it ends up being bonded to the sodium. So to summarise, the general equation for this reaction is any metal carbonate plus any acid will always make a salt, water and carbon dioxide. And if you memorise this one equation and learn how to apply it successfully, you can work out the word equation for any metal carbonate acid reaction. The other thing you need to remember is which type of salt is going to be formed. And all you need to remember is these three, okay, for GCSE really. Hydrochloric acid will always result with the salt being a chloride. If you use sulfuric acid, the salt that is formed will always be a sulfate. And if you use nitric acid, the salt that's formed will always be a nitrate. Uh, I hope you found this video useful. Thank you.